This video continues from the previous video. In the part 2 video, we will talk about deployment of the bots as well as managing them. After the test is successful, there are four different ways to deploy your bots. This is again the 5 operation sample bot we used in the previous video. Starting with run program for opening command line interface. Then typing dir, executing it by hitting enter. Now it's showing you the result for 3 seconds before closing it. Now that I'm ready to deploy the bot, I will explain 4 ways to do that. Firstly, let's save the bot in your supervisor account. To do that, you come to the file tab right here and choose this save to server menu. Then, simply by clicking it, the bot is now being saved under your account of the supervisor. When it is done, you come to the supervisor. This right here is the supervisor. And under the scenarios menu, I see this general workflow bot just saved. Now the bot is ready for deployment. The first way to deploy, is to package the bot file into an executable file. You can do that, by using this makeexe option. It automatically gives the file a name and index number. So I'm going to just say save here at the desktop. To run this bot. It is just like standard Windows app, you double click and the bot runs. In this way, you can just send this bot to any of your PAM for local execution, very easy and simple. The other three ways to deploy are from the supervisor. The scheduling feature is available from the scenarios list. When you come to the general workflow bot, you see this button right next to the scenario name that says, set schedule. Now by clicking, you open this dialog box. Firstly, you need to choose PAM or PAMs by this side PAM menu. This tool will allow you to configure some very complex scheduling. This is a scheduling tool using the CronTab technology. And for example, to run your bot every 30 minutes you're going to set it like this. Additionally, you can set start date and also expiration day of your bot. And then, you can actually set schedule to pause for maintenance. Help for the CronTab technology is available from here. The third way to deploy the bot is to use the on-demand menu. This menu gives you a capability of remote live execution. To do that, open this on-demand menu. Then, choose your scenario you choose one PAM and click run. So in this example I choose the general workflow bot from this bot list, and I choose my local PAM. And, as soon as I click run, the bot runs on my local PAM like so. The fourth and the final way to deploy the bots is using our API. Argos On Demand API is available at Supervisor. You can make any third-party applications including other bots to kickstart your bot. In this section, we can see the list of API tokens or API keys which authenticates the API. You could test the API by clicking right here in the Supervisor. In this example, we are using the Argos API plugin tool to call the API. Now the supervisor also comes with the managing features, such as, statistics and analytics. By updating my dashboard, I can actually see the latest execution of the general workflow bot, which just ran 4 times all successful, all blue and failed job 0. Supervisor can also give your detail execution logs, including screenshots and failure, alarms which can send emails to the bot management team members,